Well, don't. <laughs> what you say, Marty Carter? I'll do, I won't do your face. Just don't put it close to your face. It's just a. Oh, oh I guess it's on there. <laughs> One Sorry. moment. But that's it. That's it. Ex external auditory meatus is, is your ear hole. Ear hole. Mm -hmm. ear, ear hole. Oh, I'm going to write it down. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Ear hole. Um. Next on the list, we got zygomatic process. That's this part of the blue up until where it hits the yellow. So, okay. so this like arch, it's behind the right? cheek, but it is part the of your cheek. cheek. It's, it's a oh, right it's that little thing right here. Oh, yes, soft right part of the cheek. Oh wow! In between the soft part of the temple and the, the, and the jaw, the you can feel that, right? Yeah. That's this. That's what you're feeling. Oh, right here. Yes, it's, it's, just so it's called the zygomatic process. It's part of the zygomatic arch. The whole thing right, right. here is called the zygomatic arch. I don't think it's on the checklist, but it's part that, of the check. What's more important is that you know that that, even though it's called the zygomatic process, is a part of the temporal bone. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's why that's why I like this one because it's colored. Mm -hmm. Right, so all of the blue is temporal. It's called the zygomatic process because it touches the zygomatic bone. Mm. It connects. Right, a lot of things. That's it'll, it'll help you with the naming as long as you understand it's all connected. Um, so that's the zygomatic process: mandibular faucet or fossa. Uh, mandibular is jaw, I think. Yeah, so that's mandibular is your jaw, right? That's your man. This is your whole the whole thing here. Your mandible. But. We're still on temporal bone, right? We're still on the blue. Mm -hmm. So those divots, faucet, means a bowl or basin-like area, kind of like a bowl shape. And you see where these these are condyles, rounded, right? Mm -hmm. Mandibular condyles fit in the faucets. So this is kind of like where it's, it's the hinge yeah, of the jaw. Yeah, what opens up your jaw. Yeah. Mm, look at the hinge of the jaw. Okay. Yeah, but it's it's, it's the, the top part. Yeah, top part of the hinge, right? Mm -hmm. It's the part that's on the temporal bone. So it's the valleys that this part sits in. Can I see it in that model? Yeah, this one, it's just where they connect. So if you raise the mandible off mm -hmm. of it, that's where it connects, right? Mm -hmm. It's the pivot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the mandibular faucet. Styloid process. I really like this one on the way more than this one. Because the ones in the, mo in the room are, are big like this. So See, on this one, they're, they're, they're not very big. Are These styloid processes are, are huge. Yeah, are they, they really are this big. Shut so up. on the yeah. on the and there's a real human skull in there that they like to test on too, mm -hmm. and that they're real sharp like this. The so real sharp. They look like a stylus. Yes. <laughs> That's, the That's where they got the word mm -hmm. stylus from. It's, it's from, from this bone. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So these are styloid processes, yeah, and there's other styloid processes as we move through system like there's just a process there there we'll get back to that when we come back to appendicular some of these is you're going to see the words again so um mastoid process if you just move your fingers just to the, just a little bit laterally more big bumps and you can feel these like right behind your ear that big bump behind your ear okay. mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. that's your mastoid process okay and uh your sternoclidomastoid muscle that runs from here all the way down. Yeah, it it attaches right there, and you can feel it. Yeah, I was going to say, if you right. get like a swollen lip noise yeah, or something yeah. like that, you end up feeling it. Like, yeah. oh, interesting. So that is your mast those are your mastoid processes. Sphenoid bone, um, that's on the inside, right? There is a picture in your book that is a black and white picture type thing. If she ever wants you to name the bone sphenoid, she's going to show you that black and white picture. If you could, if somebody pulls it out, I'll show you exactly which picture it is. The, the one that looks like a bat? Looks like a bat. Mm -hmm. The bat like foot bone, that's the sphenoid. Uh, keep turning one more, yeah, keep one more flip. There's. So, mm -hmm. right that picture, that little black and white picture right there, mm -hmm. you see that? That's the sphenoid bone dissected out. Okay, so that's this brown bone. Oh. If you took it out of the skull, it's going to look like that. Oh, okay. But that's how she's going to ask you is she'll set that picture on the table and say, what's the bone? Oh. Name the whole sphenoid bone. Sphenoid bone. That's the sphenoid. Go ahead and keep that open because the next one is the ethmoid. So, yeah. Um, 
if she's asking you sphenoid, she's going to ask you that one. And if she's asking you ethmoid as a whole, it's going to be this one. This one. Mm -hmm. so, so be familiar with both of those pictures. What is this? What that's the like? ethmoid. That's, that's this mean. green bone. Oh, that's way, I thought it was going to be a huge one. I know. <laughs> yeah, well, if you cut it out, it's the gr if you see the green goes into here oh. and here and here. So, so you, if you cut it all, cut everything else oh out, you'd gosh. end up with just that. But it's it's, it's really your sinuses. <laughs> yeah, that's right? what I'm about to say. That's, <laughs> that's when we when we have sinus problems, we usually have problems with our ethmoid sinuses. Mm. Those are the most common. Right? Those two pictures as a whole, those are the, the the bones as a whole. Now, let's go back to sphenoid bone for mm -hmm. what we need to know on the sphenoid bone. This, the, the lesser wing. and the greater wing. The top here is the lesser. It's just this shelf is what they're talking about. Those are the lessers. And then if you put your fingers down on the bottom parts of it, those mm -hmm. are the graders. Pretty simple. Those are easy. Greater, awesome. lesser. Greater, lesser, and one and each. So right. top part two is lesser. Top part's lesser, bottom part's greater. Okay. More importantly, the cella tersica. It, lo it looks like crap in this one, so I'm not going to use this one. Mm -hmm. But this... Where my finger's sitting in, cella tersica means Turk saddle, is what it translates from, and it looks like a horse saddle. That's where it gets its name. It's, they're, they're never going to ask you the individual things off of the picture. If they show you the picture, they're just asking for the whole bone. They'll actually take a skull and put a little, little put a little X piece of tape, tape in, inside the cella tersica and say, what is that? Okay, so, so that's good. The right where my finger's touching, mm -hmm. or inside where my and uh, you don't need to know this just yet, but did anybody know what sits in there? It's a gland that's very important. Oh, is that? No, let me laugh. I don't know. What's that? What is it? P. Pituitary. Mm -hmm. Your number one pituitary. gland, right? Your pituitary gland makes almost all your hormones, like literally like 80 something percent right of them. Uh, so, and, and that's where it's housed. That's why it's protected. It's, it's really protected by all that bone structure because it's so what, important. So where is the, I think, I mean, the cella? Cella tersica. Oh, so. oh that's where the pituitary is? The pituitary is? gland sits inside of it. That's the house oh. for the pituitary gland. Mm. Oh. And that's why it's got that structure, so it protects it because it's so important. It, it, it makes all of our hormones, not all of them, but the majority of our body's hormones. So did you say they will like ask specifically what is that or is it ma mainly the bigger things? Yeah. Oh no, yeah, they'll absolutely say Salaturs, I guarantee you Salaturs is going to be on your one of your 50. Yeah. The what? Mm -hmm. They're not going to just ask what's the bones, they're going to ask. It's, what's it's in not, the bones? It, it, you're going to have less of name the bone and way more of name the process or mm -hmm. name the structure. Mm -hmm. It's more structures than it is the actual bones because to be honest, the bones are easy because you got to learn all the other parts on them. You know what I mean? The, the bones are going to come natural. So how would you know the difference? Like you just said, okay, I know process, but then... <coughs> A lot of it's just memorizing, memorizing. this list. Yeah. It's just memorizing it. Yeah, there's no, there's no good rhyme or reason by looking at something and be like, oh, that's got to be a condyle because of its shape. Don't worry, I'll watch it, its shape kind of dictates its name, I'll but it it, you're YouTube. not going to. I'll link you guys if you want it. <laughs> okay, so ethmoid bone. I mean, that, the whole picture the one is the one that's got the real sharp point on it, right? Mm -hmm. That is the ethmoid. It's the crystal gap. Yeah, now that really sharp point. She could ask you that on that picture, maybe. Yeah. What's the real sharp point? That's the crystal golly. Yeah. And if you look at either, let's just go with the green one, right? So the real sharp ridge in the middle, right down the middle that separates mm -hmm. the green, right? Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. sharp? Mm -hmm. That's your crystal golly. Crystal golly um, translates into cox comb. It's supposed to look like a roaster's oh, that thing. thing on a rooster. Yeah, yeah. that's what they're yeah, right. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, the next one on your list is cribriform plate. And you see on either side of the crystagali, there's holes. Right? Yeah. Little yeah. holes next to the The little holes next to the crystagali on either mm -hmm. side of it. All of those holes? Yeah. Or the holes? The, all of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. So the, the whole area with the holes, that's mm -hmm. the cribriform plate. Those little holes are where your, your um, olfactory nerve goes through it. 
So the cribriform so is smell nice nerve. to the oh. <laughs> to... Olfactory means smell. Oh. So the nerve responsible for smelling. Is those. Which is, by the end of the, the chapter, we'll come back to this. Too. Remember, cranial nerve number one is oh. your olfactory nerve, and that's where it comes through. So mm. that's where it is exposed to the air, right? To mm. the chemicals that we interpret as smell. It all happens right there. Um, so that's cribriform or perforated. Um, interior, middle, and inferior, I'm sorry, inferior and middle nasal conchi. Okay. So on the green, mm. right? Remember all the green is the F point. Mm -hmm. The two bottom bumps, you see the bumps close to my fingers? The green. Mm -hmm. So the bottom ones, mm -hmm. those are the inferior. And the ones <coughs> up the on top. the top are the mm -hmm. middle. Now there are superior ones, you oh. just can't see them. Okay. There's a, there's a three sets of them. There's inferior, middle, and superior. They'll never ask you superior because you can't actually see it. Mm -hmm. It's buried up in that cavity, right? So the But inside your nose, right, there's literally three bumps. Three bumps. This are the middle. Right. So it starts off with inferior yeah. and then middle. middle. There, there is a superior, but you're not. It. It's not on your checklist okay. because you can't okay, find see. it. Okay. So will it's they right ask deep in there. Those ones on that or that? On this. Just, um, yeah, because you can't see. They would. They, she all. would. Uh, <laughs> she would just put a piece of red tape on the actual bump. Okay. Um. So those are your conky. All right, cranial structure or, or sutures. So sutures. Sutures. Cranial sutures. Sutures are easy, right? We we, we learn the we learn the bones, and then the sutures just divide out the bones. So coronal sutra is this. It divides out the frontal oh, it bone. It's just that line that divides the parietal bones from the frontal bone. Mm. It's that actual crooked line, right? We have that sutures in our are hand. actually considered. Yeah, mm -hmm. sutures are considered Divide, joints. Uh, the right when you're a kid, they're they're soft spots. Right? Mm -hmm. They're not they're not completely developed. Mm -hmm. We call them fontanelles. Yeah, all right. mm -hmm. okay. And that's because when you're when you're when you're a baby, th this is all. There's no bone right there. It's soft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's sensitive. Mm -hmm. So, that's your coronal one. So sagittal. Sagittal. Okay. And if you remember, remember yeah, coronal middle, cut, yeah. and sagittal cut mm -hmm. from my first week one, mm -hmm. that's where they're getting these from. That's where they're getting these words from. Okay, so sagittal means right down the middle. So that's your sagittal. Squamosal. <laughs> that, that Squamosal um, divides out the temporal lobe, so it's that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Divides out the temporal lobe. From the yeah, so, so it divides the parietal from the temporal. And the last one, the lambdoidal, divides out the occipital from both the parietals. No. That's the lambdoidal. Where is the lamb? Show me again. It's the occipital lobe. Oh. It, it carves out the occipital lobe. Oh. So this right here. So yeah, she if she the has the piece of tape side. on the actual oh, line, you're, she's looking for lambdoidal suture. If she has it on the yellow, she's looking for a subtle oh, lobe, and oh. if she has it on the red, she's she asking name, for parietal. Name the sutures. She probably won't say name the suture. She will probably mm. say name the structure, and she'll lay it right on the line. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you go through number three again, please? She could say name the suture. I hope so. Don't worry, I'm laying out. What, what was your question? Huh? Number three, I get it. Uh, squamosal? Yeah. So squ squamosal cuts out the temporal lobe. They're all just dividing out lobes. So the frontal or the coronal one is the border of the frontal bone, right? Uh, the parietal or the sagittal one separates both parietals. Mm -hmm. um, squamosal does the temporal. And the lambdoidal does the acetyl. Uh, the next three cranial fossas. Remember fossa? We already had a fossa, right? Yeah. Uh, we had the mandibular fossa, <coughs> and that was like a, a bowl shape, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's what fossa that means. Fossa just means bowl shape, basin, okay. basin like. I think is what another word they use for. Um, there's a picture in your book that's got like three U's. Like they show like a skull like this, and then they got like three U's dividing it out. And that's what they're talking about. So, like from here to here would be your anterior fossa. Okay. It's just where the brain sits. Like it literally sits in three places, right? right? Like where it would like rest. It rests right here would be your anterior, here's your middle, and here's your posterior. This is as simple as it gets. So anterior, middle, posterior. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get it? See how it kind of from here to here would be middle, posterior, anterior. Anterior, okay. It, that one's very simple. Okay. The cranial fossa you can say next to it, like where the brain is. But they, there there's a there's a it, when when you guys go through this in in, in lab this week, mm -hmm. she'll show like a um, on a slide and it'll have like this pictured here and there'll be a U here and then a U here and then a U here. Mm -hmm. The first one is and anterior, anterior middle, post, posterior. Middle, posterior, and that's yeah. that's how they'll test you on. They're not gonna like yeah, say yeah, what's the you know, here. whole this area. Oh, okay, one. face bones, facial bones. First one is nasal bones. That's pretty simple. It's not really the... It's where this B was covering, right? So mm -hmm. it's 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 just the orange part, though, right? Mm. Uh, the yellow? The yellow, the I don't know what the yellow is trying to show there, because... The sides. Maybe. The yellow is part of it, too, yes. So it's the orange and the yellow, right? Right there. It is not the gray. Mm. The gray is the next one. Lacrimal bones or the gray? It's on YouTube, so I'll need your text So how do you tell on the plane? I mean, because we're not going to see the colored one. Right. So it's, it's just where she puts it. So she puts the, if she puts the piece of tape right where I just put it, it'd be on lacrimal. If she puts it where it was, it'd be nasal. Okay. Got you. Okay. So it's just where the tape's sitting. Uh, See ya. Oh, you're going to class. Oh, okay. See ya. Yeah, right down the middle, right in the middle, this is your nasals. Lacrimals are more where tear ducts are at, right? The gray. Uh, lacrimal. All right. Uh, zygomatic bones. That is the yellow. Okay, like, is it like a cheekbone? Mm -hmm. Apple. Apple, your cheek, right? Yeah. Those are, that's the cheekbones. On the zygomatic, technically, or I'm sorry, uh, not, not technically. Next is the <laughs> maxillary bone. So all of this orange all the way up to, not, not this part though, okay? This Minus is your nasal, nasal, right? Minus the nasal bones, because that end right there. So All of the rest of the, of the orange nose. is the maxilla. But more importantly, it, it holds your teeth. Mm -hmm. right? It holds your uppers. Okay. It holds your upper teeth. On that one, we need to know a couple things. So, mm -hmm. are you going about to talk about the dots or something? The dots that are in the orange? Are you about to talk about? I don't know. Do those dots? Because don't These? usually like the little dots mean, like, aren't they called something? Mm -hmm. These? Yeah. yeah. Infraorbital foramens. Okay. Next on the list. Infraorbital foramen. Infra means below. Orbital means eye. And foramen means hole. The holes below the eye. All these foramens, it's blood supply is coming through here. Nerves are mm -hmm. coming through here. It's just, you know, so the nerves that control our facial muscles for all of our expressions. Yeah. You know, the, doing this, it's coming through that hole. The nerve the coming nerve. through that, right? Okay, that's how the nerve gets to it. Um, it's a zygomatic. Zygomatic process. process. I don't know why they, they 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 came. It was already on there before. Remember? Yeah. It's, it's part the of the temporal the ear, bone. So it's it's just feet. rewritten again. Don't let it confuse you. It yeah. is part of the temporal bone. That's the zygomatic process. Just it's kind of a misprint. Palatine process is on the zygomatic or or on on the maxilla. <coughs> sorry. Top of the roof That's the top of your roof. Okay, so the top of your mouth, what we thought, you ever heard the hard palate or whatever, your mm -hmm. palate? That's the process, palatine process. 
the process is bigger than the bone itself. The yellow is the palatine bones. Oh, okay. Wait, the and that orange one? from between here all the way to your teeth would be the process, process. right? Okay. The palatine process is bigger than the actual palatine bones. Okay. Because the palatine process is a part of the maxillary bone, not the palatine bone. So yellow is palatine. Mm-hmm. And on a real one, it's even smaller. So, so see how on, the, on this one's mm -hmm. not real, but it's even... On a real one, though, it's actually even smaller. The palatine bones are like this deep, and the process is that. So it's... They kind of exaggerated to show it out here. But. That's the palatine bone. Mandible. The whole thing is the mandible. Okay, the whole lower jaw is your mandible. Mental foramens. Remember, mental is your chin, chin right? Mm -hmm. Chin area. So the holes on the chin. See those two? Mm -hmm. or, or here, here. Uh, what is the what is it? the mandible? The whole thing is the mandible. Whole jaw. The whole jaw. Okay. Whole what did you say? Foramens meant again. The whole the whole jaw. Oh, okay. Whole foramen just means whole. Gotcha. Magnum foramen. The whole. The whole. Jaw. And the just mental. The okay. It's right here, right? Mental is your chin, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the mental form. Mental for months. Mental holes, right? Right. Chin holes. Chin holes. <laughs> That's what that means. There's two oh. holes on your chin. One, oh. One. I'm just trying to get you to recognize what the words are saying. So mental is your chin, right? And four mm -hmm. months is holes. So chin holes. Ah, chin holes. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Mandibular foramens. If you turn it around, there's two holes here. One here, one here. Oh, those are your mandibular frame. That's a lot of where your nerves are coming in for your teeth. And really? Stuff like that. Yeah. So the two holes behind the. I'm mad they have his teeth, his tooth missing. Behind the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, next one mandibular ramus. That's just talking about everything my finger's touching right here. So if you. Ramus means arm-like projection. Once again, going back to that list I tell you guys to look at, ramus means arm-like. That's basically whenever I set my finger down, I'm covering the whole ramus. Okay. Mm. That's the ramus. I mean, that's hard to remember. Um, so that's, that's the whole it. thing, the, like this whole, mm. not don't, not the coronoid, but mm -hmm. like this from from the condyle all the way down to, to the angle. So that the whole thing is the ramus. Internal and external angles. This is the external angle, the one that's on the outside of the jaw, mm -hmm. and this is the internal angle where the teeth are. So the angle mm -hmm. where the teeth are mm -hmm. are the internals. Uh, internal, external. There's so a coronoid process. Is this thing that I told you to ignore? Mm -hmm. Right. So this. Uh, Tooth looking shape, whatever, mm. it is, right? whatever that is. Shark tooth. Shark, shark tooth looking thing. <laughs> that is the coronoid. Now, we're going to, there's a whole bunch of coronoids and coracoid yeah. processes, and you got to get the difference. That one spelling does absolutely count. Coronoid versus coracoid. coracoid. I'm just going to tell you something to help you remember. Some of you guys are old enough to remember this, so. You're not. <laughs> How old do you think I am? You're 20. Yeah. But... <laughs> okay, so do you guys remember the old Domino's commercials with the Noid? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. You, do you, see? You're, you're lost, right? You don't even know about the Domino's right, commercials. So back in the day, Domino's had a um, mascot, mm -hmm. and his name was the Noid. N O I D. And you eat the pizzas. <laughs> Mm -hmm. the, noid is, the noid is in your mouth, okay? The coid is in your arm. Oh. Okay, so mm -hmm. This is going to come back to the next checklist. Yes. Remembering which one's the noid, which one's the coid. coid. So oh. You eat pizza, the noid. noid's in your mouth. mouth. Okay? Cornoid. Mm. Um, you're just going to have to remember it. Just say but, Domino's <laughs> noid. <go. laughs> but... Coronoid. Um, mandibular notch is where my finger's sitting. It's the notch, right? Oh, okay. okay. Just like it sounds. Mandibular notch. Um, mandibular condyle are the ends. 
that sit in that mandibular <coughs> fossas. So those are the condyles that sit in the fossas. Oh. Fossas and condyles go together. One's on one bone, one's oh, on Jesus, another bone. Jesus, better to remember all of this. Wait, what's that thing you call it? That's what I'm saying. You don't only need to know 206 yeah, bones. You, you need, need to know, know three things on each one of those thing. 206 yes. bones. That's why we want to spend more than one week on this. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> what's it sitting? So this is your mandibular fossa nice. of the temporal bone, and this is the mandibular condyle of the mandible. Mm. It try, it, it, this, it, this is tough stuff, yes, but after you look at it a hundred times, it's going to get a lot easier. That's exactly what I'm going to do with this video. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, Vomer bone. Okay, so, mm -hmm. remember the conchi are on both sides, right? Right. The one right in the middle mm -hmm. is the Vomer. So it's the green that's only in the middle on the bottom. Okay. It's the, it's the, I also like to think of it as like the septum. It yeah. divides the right and the left. Okay. Mm. You ever heard somebody oh. have a deviated septum? They don't yeah. have a right and a left side of their nose. They only have one opening up there. Okay. That septum. Oh, there. like when they have that. Is it and on this all one, the way up? Like yeah, on this one, the, she just pointed that middle line, that sagittal, sagittal line, line right That's in the right middle, middle of the nasal cavity. Yeah. That would be the filter. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, infra inferior nasal conchi, we already went over those. Those mm -hmm. the, the two bottom bumps, right? right there. Uh, so some of these things you'll see them written down on these less more than ones. Orbit, eye socket, is just where your eyes go. Mm -hmm. Don't make it any more complicated than that. Nasal cavity, just the hole where the nasal mm -hmm. is. <laughs> uh, paranasal sinuses, there's a picture somewhere. They also have a nice new model up in the Okay, right. See these pictures? Yeah. They'll use those pictures for it. So, those are just your Frontal sinuses. sinuses mm -hmm. uh, I'd, I'd study those pictures, and there's also a model up in the labs that kind of is like this. It's like it's like a clear face mask, and it, it's, it's got the color. 3D of the sinuses in it. Mm. So she's. I was tested off of this way, but the, the model was brand new next semester, so or last semester, so I don't know if she started using it yet or not. This is obvious, but do you say the nasal cavity is the whole? The, yeah, it's just the, it's, okay. cavity means space, mm -hmm. so it's the, the lack of anything. It's the, it's the space. Um, okay, so paranasal sinuses for the, all those, look at those pictures, mm -hmm. okay? Um, or the model upstairs is also nice. But it's also color-coded, I think, with the same colors as those. So that, that one, you might want to just remember colors. Red is maxillary, and purple is frontal, or whatever. Oh, um, hyoid bone. It's missing. There's a... Oh, she got a picture of it right there. They like to set that one on the table. They, they, she'll set that on the table in the box of bones. They have that one what in particular. What is that? That's what your tongue's attached to. That's uh -huh. right here. Mm -hmm. Your tongue? Mm -hmm. Tongue's anchored know, to it's it. attached to a bone. I know. It's anchored to it. Look, now I'm trying to feel it back. Like feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty deep. You can't feel it on right. the surface. <laughs> <laughs> you Do you can't have feel to remember what it looks like? Yeah, yeah, she'll actually just pull that one out and put it on the table. That one's a, just a name the bone. Oh, and it looks just like that, but it's usually right here on this guy. Uh, <coughs> somebody's removed it. It's, uh, right right here. Here. it's the only bone in your body that does not articulate with any other bone. It doesn't touch it. Don't touch it on now. So it, it just sits there. There's no articular cartilage on it because it doesn't have any articulation spots. Mm. Okay, so that one is a hyoid. Vertebral column. Spinal curvatures. Primary versus secondary. Okay. This I'm going to just draw. There. 
So, these are exaggerated, all right? When you are born, all of your spine is primary. Makes sense when you think about babies are always in a fetal position. They're always <laughs> like punched that. over, right? Mm. All of their, their entire spine is C-shaped, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Primary. The whole thing. That's all primary. So when you're born, all of it's primary. Mm. As you learn to lift your head up, is that it the changes. Head? Yeah, this is your head. Okay. <laughs> right. So as you can pick pick your head up mm. off of the floor, right? Mm. That curvature now, is, so this is the C, right? So when you're a baby, it's all C shaped. Mm. Oh. As you pick your head up, the cervicals are now secondary. So right here, just the neck region would be a secondary it, curvature. Oh, and the rest of it goes will against primary. the primary. Oh, okay. Mm. Gives you the opportunity to so pick your head up. Head. Okay. As you begin to walk, a little later, a year head. later, right? You know, you're, now you're, you now you're walking. Now, the lumbar mm -hmm. curve this way mm -hmm. to support you. So now it's secondary now. So basically, your, sc your, your, your spine is divided into four sections, okay? So you've got cervical, thoracic, lumbar, mm -hmm. and sacral. So sacral. cervical, thoracic, lumbar, lumbar and sacral. sacral, okay? So that's what you So your cervical is in an... They're going to ask this in a, all oh, adult questions, neck. right? So Cervical means neck. Yeah. And your neck, mm -hmm. that will be secondary. Your thoracic is always primary. Never changes. Okay. Thoracic. Pr pr thoracic is always primary. Mm -hmm. Lumbar, when you start walking, it changes secondary. to secondary. Okay. Oh. And your sacrum, this part, this is fused. There's no way it can ever change. Mm -hmm. so so your sacrum is always primary. Oh, it never, it, it doesn't ever move. It's always shaped like that, right? See how it's shaped? Mm -hmm. like so, primary, mm -hmm. secondary, primary, secondary. Secondary. Does primary mean to always stay the same secondary mm -hmm. changes? Yeah. Primary born, but secondary, you, you change that by learning to walk or learning to hold your other. Remember they alternate. <laughs> There's a couple yeah. different ways to remember it. The sacrum primary. always is primary, and then it, you know that it goes secondary. primary, secondary, primary, primary secondary. Primary, secondary, primary. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that what they're talking about there. That's what they're... And they, they usually will just, um, like, she'll tape off all the cervicals and say, well, which curvature is this? And you have you primary or secondary. Uh, In that case, you write secondary. 